Lisa, his dad tells that story like nobody else can, and you can just sense the emotion in his voice. Take a look behind me, and you're looking at a group of rescuers. These are among the rescue crews that were helping to look for Cody Michael over the last three days. And let me tell you, when he was found at 1030 this morning, that was 72 hours to the minute that he had sent his last text to his parents, which had been on Monday. You're looking at a few pictures shot in this area. It gives you an idea of the area that Cody Michael was lost in. And as well, it's that photo of him that the Placer County Sheriff's Department took after he was found. Uh, we know that he was more hungry than he was hurt, which is really good news. When I spoke to his dad and a spokeswoman from the Placer County Sheriff's Department a minute, a minute ago, they told me that he was ready to head off to the hospital, but actually was, was hungry. And so he actually stopped, talked to his family here at this location where we are near the Lock Levin Trail, ate first, and then went off to uh, Sutter Roseville is where he was being taken. Let's listen one more time to Cody Michael's dad. Here's what he had to say. He told us he was, they were going to fly him to the hospital, and um, minutes later we got word they're actually bringing him here to the command post. That's how good he is. Uh, they're taking him to the hospital now. He's on his way uh, just for... Um, uh, yeah, just, just for checkup. And you got to see him. Oh yeah, spent quite a bit of time with him, and uh, and the, you know, the, I wonder what it'd be like seeing him again. And uh, it was uh, an incredible um, father-son moment. You know, we shot that interview up here just a few minutes ago, and I spoke after I spoke to Cody Michael's father. That was Howard Michael there. I spoke to the Placer County Sheriff's Department. They're a little emotional, too, because they say too often when they conduct these searches, the ending is not a happy ending. Today it was. Again, Cody Michael on his way to Sutter Roseville Medical Center. We're not sure exactly what the nature of his injuries are, but they did want to make sure that he at least gets checked out today. His father thinks that they were minor injuries, if any and that he should be out of the hospital shortly. We're live here in Placer County. I'm Shara Kanishams, KCRA 3 News. Shara, it's just so remarkable that they found him, especially before that snow was coming. Have they said exactly what happened? Did he just get lost, or was it because of the injury that he didn't make it back when he was supposed to? Do we know what happened to him? Did he get turned around? Right, Lisa, that, that was uh, that was our question. Uh, when I talked to the Placer County Sheriff's spokeswoman, she didn't know. She actually said that uh, investigators are waiting to talk to the pilot of that Black Hawk helicopter who was the first to spot him. So we know a little bit uh, about the process by which this happened. I guess we know that the helicopter pilot spotted him first. And then, you know, minutes later, uh, when the, the pilot got word to ground crews, ground crews went out and helped get him out of the area where he was uh, lost and stuck essentially but we don't know you know was it some specific thing that that pilot spotted on the ground was it the dog first was it Cody first was it his clothes was Cody calling for help those are the details we're still waiting to find out right and exactly why were they stuck there what happened all right Charles thank you so much